Hi there. Welcome back to Kim McDonald Studios. It's been a little, it's been a minute. I know. Hey, I'm kicking things off. I'm excited about this because this week earlier I got to visit the Ligari Studios because we're in the same area. We're talking Ligari Resin. I'm so excited. Are you seeing this? They sent me home with this <laughs> and more. But while I was there, it was a blast. I walked in and they, are, they had two substrates like ready to go for me to paint. I didn't even know I was gonna be painting when I walked in or resin, resin painting. Um, but they had a, a white substrate and then one that was black. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna basically replicate one of the pieces of the pieces that I did while I was at Ligari. And when they do that video, when they release that, if it, if it comes out, I will link it down below. But I'm gonna use the same exact colors, everything the same, except for one extra color, this one right here. But the colors that I used were, let me get rid of the ones I'm not gonna use. Let's do that instead. There are some beautiful colors in here. That everybody yeah I think that's everybody so these are the colors that I used when I was there We've got rust Olympic gold paradise Merlot which I'm in love with and this forest which to me is kind of a it's it pulls kind of with a little on the blue side so I'm in love with this color but what I did was I had black what resin and just poured these in strings across the painting and the colors these colors just bump right out of the black it's beautiful in this case I'm gonna juice it up just a little bit I'm gonna go a little bit further than I did the other day at Ligari and while I'm using exactly the same colors it's gonna look a little bit different when I'm done so I'm gonna be doing the strings and all of that but then we're gonna go a little bit further and that's why I'm adding this uh, midnight pearl in I've already got my black resin piece here um, because this way I can work with clear with the colors and it'll go a lot faster. But if you did it from beginning to end, it would be a two-day process. So let's get going. Ligari resin is a two-to-one resin. So two parts to one part is how this is going to work. And for this project, this is an 18-inch round. And I'm going to do I'm going to do 12 ounces. It's a little bit more than what I need. But, you know, that's how I do things. I'd rather have a little bit extra than have not enough to get my project done. So it'll be eight ounces of this to four ounces of part B. Oh, and if I haven't told you yet, I might have, and I forgot. Um, Ligari has a special ingredient in their resin. And I'm not going to tell you right now about it. I'm going to tell you about it at the end. But, yeah, don't let me forget, because I need to tell you this. It's pretty cool. the colors now in the piece that I did at Ligari it was a rectangular piece and we had it in black and I just did ribboning across in all different colors and just kind of let it go like that and left it alone it was done I want to go a step further today besides just going from rectangle to round but you'll see
back next day. Now, <laughs> I like this part. That's about it. Okay, here's the thing. Anyone who has spent any time working with resin or even acrylics in a freeform fluid art situation like this has had, had this happen. And that is that you get going down a track and it's not quite doing what you want. So you continue to work it and you continue to work it and then you overwork it. And that's what I did here. Um, it wasn't doing what I wanted. So like I said, you know, you per persevere and you try and get something out of it and I'm not happy with this. So I'm gonna pull out a little trick that I use when I want to edit a painting like this where it's just gone too far and I want to bring it back. And that's with acrylic paint. And then we're gonna put another layer of resin over this with a little bit of color in it. I'll bring back some of that forest that we used. I'm also gonna bring back just a little bit of the rust. And I've got a transparent blue. And you're not gonna see a lot of, there are gonna be little accents out of these. And also, my Prisma 65 gold. I'm gonna make some fracture veins with this. So that's the plan anyway. We had a plan yesterday, but it didn't go according to two plans. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. I've mixed it up. I've got it watered down to the consistency that I want. And you can even see where's it at. Let's see if I can just see it where you can see it. I'm not seeing the light hit it. You might be able to see it, I can't tell. This area right here, I hit it too hard for a little bit too long with the heat gun and so it's made a little area, but with another layer of resin, you won't even see that. So let's get to this. I think I have it where I want it. It may look odd right now, but I'm gonna come back when this dries with some clear resin over the top and I'm gonna add some colors to kind of connect these spots. At least that is the plan. So there we are right now. And we'll be back when it's dry to put a coat of resin over this. So it's the next day and all of the acrylic has dried. It had plenty of time to dry. I was working on another project, so I just set it aside and left it there until this morning. Um, because it's been two days since I poured this resin, uh, I went ahead and gave it a little bit of a, a quick sand. I wanna make sure it's got some tooth to it for this top layer of resin to grab onto. So I've mixed my colors already. I've got that rust and the forest in the Ligari colors. And then I put, this is the uh, acrylic, acrylic ink from De La Rowney, which is really pretty. I just wanna add a little bit of definition in here in some of these spots with the green. That's really what that blue's for. And then the ever-present gold. Such a pretty color. That's the, uh, the Prisma 65. That's this stuff. Hopefully, I'm gonna hopefully do some pin lines with this as well and see if that works out. But first I need to lay down some clear, kind of define my areas.
So here we are, final day. Everything's all done and cured. And I'm really liking this piece now. Towards the middle of it, I was not at all. This I, this I can deal with. So have you been on the edge of your seat to find out what the secret is? Well, think back over the course of this video. Did you once see me with a torch in my hand? Did you see a torch at any point? Well, I did use my heat gun to warm resin and move it. There's a secret ingredient that Ligari has in their resin that pops its own bubbles. How about that? That made my day right there. And so did this piece. So thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. I've got more on the way. If you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button. And I, oh, I'm telling you, I've got some really good ones coming up. So thanks for hanging out and have a great day.